joined Whitesnake in 2014 and took part in the making of the Purple album. So what was your approach to covering those Deep Purple songs as Whitesnake? And did you try to make them sound as close as possible to the originals? Or did you have any creative freedom to make them like sound more like Whitesnake and what you wanted to make of them? Uh, no, David definitely wanted to do something different with them and make them sound mm -hmm. Whitesnake. And that was a unique situation because Reb Beach had pretty much covered like the main guitar part that exists in most of those songs and we weren't going to rely as heavily on keyboards uh, mm -hmm. on the album so a lot of times I had to come up with secondary guitar parts and things like that and uh, it was a little bit more of a creative endeavor than people recognize I think. Oh great so when talking about creative endeavors uh, Flesh and Blood is the first White Snake album in which you, you took part in the songwriting process so what was that yes, like? Sir. And um, are there any songs that bear your signature in particular? Uh, well, I think I have six co-writes that exist on it. So some of them I wrote all of the riffs for, and uh, some of them I wrote some of the riffs for. And then there's a couple times along the way I had little vocal ideas that ended up making the album. But uh, for the most part, yeah, there was like six co-writes. And then, of course, we all formulated our own guitar parts and things like that for any existing song so it was the next step in terms of uh, level of creativity for sure uh you have been playing with Cher as well for some time now so what's it like for a veteran rock guitarist like yourself to get into that mindset where you have to play pop with a legend such as Cher and how much creative freedom do you have there and <clears throat> is everything pre-arranged or do you have well, it's not, a, it's not a really big creative gig. It's more about playing it down and showing up and just being a professional and, and doing your job. Uh, but I really enjoy it. There's a, a lot of styles in her show, and it, it gives me an opportunity to play some styles that I actually learned to do um, outside of the hard rock scene. So I think uh, it's nice to not be totally pigeonholed as only a hard rock guitar player for a minute. And uh, it's out of left field, and... Uh, it's nothing I ever would have seen coming, but I'm having a great time doing it. Oh, great. So, actually, th there isn't any difference to what kind of music you're playing when you're setting on the path to becoming a great guitarist. You have a lo lot of things to learn from different genres, I suppose. Well, one of the things that happened to me was I didn't uh, have any real level of success of my career until after the 1990s. So I had to find a way to make a living during that whole mm -hmm. decade uh, without falling back on uh, just playing hard, you know, like what they called shred guitar back then, mm -hmm. right? Uh, rock guitar with chops. You basically couldn't do that for about 10 years. So uh, I played a lot of different types of gigs in my lifetime. I really have in a lot of different styles. And that's been good for me. It turned me into a more well-rounded musician. So I'm able to cover a gig like that. Uh, and also a lot of it is setting aside what you were talking about, like uh, level of creativity. It's sometimes you just have to be the guy that's willing to play it down and not have to say, I'm going to do my thing with this. Mm -hmm. So how does it compare to playing with White Snake? They're two totally different gigs. I mean, the, for the bulk of the time with Cher, I'm just in the background on a bandstand. And then the moments that I am featured are very important. There's one time where it's sort of just me out there. Uh, While well, she does a wardrobe change, and then I interact with her a couple of times. So there's some very important moments for me in the show, a couple of very important moments. But for the bulk of it, I'm in the background and just focusing on playing really tight rhythm guitar. So it takes away a lot of the, uh, I guess, visual aspect of what it's like to play in Whitesnake, where you're trying to be visually entertaining for the crowd. Uh, there's, I mean, there's a gazillion differences. I sing background vocals in White Snake. I don't sing with Cher. Uh, so there, there's a lot of different uh, things between the two gigs. Thanks for watching. And if you want more music news, just subscribe to Ultimate Guitar TV and press that little bell to get notifications.